your uh, impression of what came out of the owners meeting? What uh, what leaps out to you, Mike? I always think it's interesting when the press conferences that conclude a league meeting have a political tone to them. And I don't mean in the traditional politics sense, but mm -hmm. there's an objective here from the league office. The league office is trying to muster maximum support to get rid of the hip drop tackle. You don't have the commissioner and Troy Vincent, the executive VP of football operations, go to a podium and say this has to go unless you're trying to make sure that in March when they gather for the annual meeting, there will be at least 24 owners who agree that this has to go. So I'm always looking for that element where they're trying to set something up. And I think they're trying to get enough of us in the media to understand what the hip drop tackle is so we can explain to enough fans what it is and why it's a problem and why it's not an attack on defensive players and how defensive players can still do their job and why this is unsafe. And you were talking about star players being available to play games that would potentially be exported to another country. Yes. Well, if star players aren't available to play because they're injured from a hip drop tackle, like Tyreek Hill the other night, that's a problem. And, and so that was the big takeaway for me. They are determined to get rid of the hip drop tackle. They are making their case public. And I don't think they'd be so aggressive about it if they didn't have some concerns that it wasn't mm. going to be successful. You don't have to take this public if you just know we're going to get to the league meetings in March and we're going to get our 24 votes. So them talking about anything publicly you think is is a, a politicking moment where and it's an audience of 32? Is that what you're saying, Mike? I think that there's a wrinkle along those lines to it. If they weren't concerned about having the votes, they wouldn't be trying to make their case. They just wait until March and count the votes. Unless there's a PR element at play here where they want us to know and they want us to be able to push back against those in the media who would just say, oh, well, this is stupid. I don't even know what a hip drop pack tackle is. Well, it's not that hard to figure out what it is. And Sims and I spent the first full hour of our program today talking about the various big picture items, the specific issues that, that are going to be addressed by the NFL going forward and the hip drop tackle was the biggest one making sure people understand what it is and what your alternatives are to grabbing someone around the waist twisting them and falling down on their legs in one fell swoop and potentially breaking their ankles there are other ways to get guys on the ground and, I, and again they want everyone i give the league credit you know i say the league is often not proactive enough they spotted this play they spotted this trend they recognized the risk They've, they've identified it and given it a name, and now they're determined to get rid of it. Usually it doesn't happen that way, so I, I think the league's done a good thing here to, to protect the health and welfare of players. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.